Now, the National Democratic Congress, the NDC, says the introduction of the free primary health care policy will be the largest social protection program under the Fourth Republic if it wins the 2020 elections. Speaking at the NDC's weekly pre uh, press briefings, Dr. Edward Omaniboama, former communications minister, said under the free primary health care policy, Ghanaians will not require the national health insurance to access health care. My colleague, Kweku Asante, has more in the following report. A few months ago, the Opposition National Democratic Congress launched its 2020 manifesto in the lead up to this year's general election. Among one of the key promises the NDC made is that it's going to make primary health care free. Today, at a press conference addressed by former communications minister, Dr. Eduardo Maniboma, the NDC has been explaining what exactly this primary health care will entail and what exactly will go into it, the costing among other things. For instance, Dr. Maniboma has explained that primary health care will mean that health care at the very basic level, from polyclinics to the district hospitals, will be free. The primary, theoretically, ends at the district level. What this means is that if you are conceptualizing a free primary health care, you should be looking at the district hospital all the way to the CHIPS compound. And that is why we say if you went to the district hospital, care will be free. If you went to the polyclinics, care will be free. If you went to the health center, care will be free. If you went to the CHIPS compounds, care will be free. Then it has also been given the cost of the free health care policy. It's saying that it will cost them an annual 1.4 billion Ghana city and then it will also be funded through the consolidated fund through Ghana's oil revenue. In Ghana cities, it is 1.4 billion, which takes 31 million population. It means that for one year, what do you need? Between 2017 and 2020, revenue from crude oil alone, save for COVID, according to the budget statements, would have been over 20 billion Ghana cities. When the people of Ghana say that we do not see what the oil money is being used for, we must be answering with some of these concrete. One other tiny issue that came up during this press conference is that what exactly will this free healthcare policy mean for the national health insurance policy? The NEC says, as again some of the things that other people have been saying, that this will collapse the health insurance. It says that this will rather strengthen the national health insurance program. The free primary health care plan will make the NHIS better because it will pay for primary care, preventive and promotive health. Let me clarify once again that a Ghanaian will not need a national health insurance card to benefit from pre free primary health care. And that's it for the AM News. We're getting into the newspapers. We will look at MajoraLine.com. My colleagues Joseph Akable and Joseph Opoku Gakpo will join me. We also talk a lot more about the Member of Parliament uh, who has been shot and killed. You're watching the AM show. Do stay with us.